Now that we've got a AWS Lambda function built, let's go through and invoke it locally and look at a couple of different ways we can test it. So first, we can do this command here, which is sam local invoke, right? And this uh, invokes the Lambda function as long as you live inside of the correct directory. So notice that I'm not inside of the Lambda directory, so I need to change into there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's look at this AWS Lambda, and it's inside of Hello World. And now if I type in uh, Sam local invoke, uh, it will actually be able to look inside this template, pull a container, and then test the function itself. So it doesn't test the API. Now, if I want to test the API, so essentially the API gateway, I'll run this command, which is Sam local start API. So let's go ahead and clear the screen, run this. And this is great because it runs a web service here. And then if I go through and look, in fact, this is the, the thing that I want to call, which is the uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 slash hello. Uh, and so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open up a new terminal here. And then I'm going to run the curl command. So curl, uh, go through, run this. And we see that the payload is successful. If I go to the output, you can see here as well that uh, a 200 request uh, was was made to this application. So there's a couple really uh, clever ways to test things out locally, and it's it really a, a great convenience for local development. Now let's go ahead and kill this. I'll do a Control C and look at a few other things here. So API Gateway, uh, when it's in the AWS cloud, let's look at that. Let's look at CloudWatch logs, and let's also look at the correct uh, IAM uh, uh, security settings to make sure that we understand what those do. So first off, if we go to this function here and we look at the actual uh, monitoring tab here, it gives us the ability to look at a high level overview of everything that's happening in this particular function. Now, one of the things that we can do is we can actually say view logs and CloudWatch. And if you've invoked the function inside of AWS, then it allow you to look at those invocations. So we can see here that these are all of the invocations that have occurred. Uh, and because there's no print statements, there's no output, but if we wanted to add additional uh, information to this function, uh, we could go through and do that. So the other thing that we'll look at uh, is also the API gateway. So if I go through here and I, again, go back to the function itself, go through here, uh, notice that the trigger is where the API gateway is set. So AWS Lambda has many different kinds of triggers, you know, IoT, uh, Kafka, CloudFront. These are all different things that can be hooked into the AWS Lambda ecosystem. In this particular instance, it's going to be API gateway. If I click on it, it'll show me this hello world function. So the last thing that we'll take a look at is the security settings. And the reason why this is important, if we go through here and we you know, look at this environment, we look at permissions here, the reason why this is important is that in particular, if you wanted to uh, make sure that this could do other things, you would have to uh, change your, your setting here that allowed it to do other uh, actions, like for example, call, uh, let's say AWS, um, DynamoDB or to call S3 or to invoke SQS. So these are all things that could be edited uh, by allowing this particular function permission to access other uh, resources. And, and so these are where you would go through and, and change those functions. And, and this in particular is the statement ID that allows you to you know, go through and edit those, those um, permissions. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can do this again by action, right? Or you could also do this by um, resource. But in general, it's important to know that these are uh, abilities that your particular function has, and this shows you all of those uh, abilities. So again, for making uh, more advanced applications, you would need to add a different role.